Hello, and welcome to Sightseer Stories. Today we are here to discover the wonders of the Philippines. This country has many sights to see, and it did not disappoint. From the pristine waters of El Nido to the bustling streets of Manila, the Philippines has something for everyone. Stunning natural beauty, delicious food, and friendly people. I'm excited to share this experience with everyone. Let's pack our bags and discover the magic of the Philippines. First up on our Philippine adventure is Palawan. This island province is like something straight out of a postcard, with towering limestone cliffs, crystal clear turquoise waters, and lush green jungles. Palawan is home to some of the most beautiful beaches in the world, including El Nido and Coron. We're talking white sand beaches, hidden lagoons, and incredible snorkeling and diving spots. So sit back, because we're about to dive headfirst into the beauty and wonder of Palawan. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. All right, guys, we've made it to El Nido, and let me tell you, this place is even more stunning in person. Imagine towering limestone cliffs jutting out of crystal clear water, hidden lagoons tucked away around every corner, and beaches so perfect they look photoshopped. We spent the day island hopping on a traditional Filipino boat called a banca. We snorkeled in vibrant coral reefs teeming with colorful fish, kayaked through hidden lagoons, and relaxed on some of the most pristine beaches I've ever seen. One of the highlights was definitely our visit to Big Lagoon. We paddled our kayaks through a narrow opening in the limestone cliffs and emerged into this incredible turquoise lagoon surrounded by towering rock formations. It felt like we were in another world and the food here in El Nido is amazing too. We've been feasting on fresh seafood, tropical fruits and delicious Filipino dishes like adobo and sinigang. I'm telling you, the Philippines knows how to do food right. Next stop on our Philippine adventure, Boracay, famous for its powdery white sand, vibrant nightlife, and endless water sports. Relax, party, or get your adrenaline pumping. Boracay has it all. White Beach is Boracay's crown jewel, a four kilometer stretch of pristine sand, postcard perfect views and crystal clear water. The island also boasts a bustling nightlife scene. For adrenaline junkies, there's kite surfing, windsurfing, and more. While Boracay is famous for its beaches and nightlife, there's more to this island than meets the eye. We decided to venture off the beaten path and explore some of Boracay's hidden gems. And let me tell you, we weren't disappointed. We rented scooters and zipped around the island, discovering secluded coves, hidden restaurants, and breathtaking viewpoints. We even found a local market selling handmade souvenirs and delicious street food. One of the highlights of our off the beaten path adventure was our visit to Dinuid Beach. Located at the northern tip of Boracay, Dinawid is a secluded paradise with crystal clear water, powdery white sand, and a laid back vibe that's perfect for escaping the crowds. We spent the afternoon swimming, sunbathing, and enjoying the peace and quiet of this hidden gem. It was the perfect way to experience a different side of Boracay. Now let's take a look at Cebu, an island that's like the beating heart of the Visayas. This place is buzzing with energy, from the bustling cities to the tranquil waterfalls hidden in the mountains. Cebu has something for everyone, whether you're a history buff, a foodie, or an adrenaline junkie. We're talking pristine beaches, epic waterfalls, and a history so rich, you'll be transported back in time. Get ready to experience the true meaning of Filipino hospitality. Cebuanos are known for their warm smiles and welcoming nature. You're gonna love it here. Let's uncover the magic of Cebu together. First up, we gotta visit the majestic Kawasan Falls. Picture this, turquoise waters cascading down multiple tiers, surrounded by lush greenery. You can swim, cliff jump, or just chill and soak up the natural beauty. It's pure paradise. Next, we're traveling back in time to Magellan's Cross, a historical landmark that marks the arrival of Christianity in the Philippines. It's a powerful symbol and a reminder of the island's fascinating past. No trip to Cebu is complete without experiencing the vibrant nightlife and delicious street food scene in Cebu City. From sizzling sisig to savory lachon, your taste buds are in for a treat. And for all you beach bums out there, a visit to Bantian Island is a must. This hidden gem boasts powdery white sand beaches and crystal clear waters that will take your breath away. Trust me, you won't want to leave. Next stop, Bohol. This island is famous for its rolling chocolate hills, a geological wonder that has to be seen to be believed. During the dry season, these hills turn a rich chocolate brown color, hence the name. It's seriously like something out of a fairy tale. 
but Bohol is more than just its hills. We're talking about pristine beaches, lush jungles, and encounters with adorable creatures you won't find anywhere else. Get ready to meet the world's smallest primate, the Tarsier. These tiny guys are nocturnal and have eyes bigger than their brains. And speaking of incredible wildlife, you can't miss the chance to swim with gentle giants, whale sharks. These magnificent creatures gather in the waters off the coast of Bohol, and it's an experience you'll never forget. Whether you're an adventure seeker or just looking to relax and soak up the natural beauty, Bohol is the place. Let's kick off our Bohol adventure with a visit to the iconic Chocolate Hills. These perfectly formed mounds are a sight to behold, and you can get the best views from the Chocolate Hills complex. Trust me, the pictures don't do it justice. Next, we're heading to the Lobok River for a relaxing cruise. Imagine floating down a tranquil river, surrounded by lush greenery, and enjoying a delicious Filipino feast. It's the perfect way to experience the beauty of Bohol at a leisurely pace. For all you adrenaline junkies, a zipline adventure through the rainforest canopy is a must. Soar through the air and take in breathtaking views of the island. It's an experience that will get your heart pumping. And before we leave Bohol, let's not forget about Alona Beach. This popular spot is perfect for swimming, sunbathing, or simply relaxing with a refreshing coconut in hand. It's the perfect way to end our Bohol adventure. Surfers, adventurers, and beach bums, this one's for you. We're heading to Siajau, an island paradise known for its world-class waves, laid-back vibes, and stunning natural beauty. Siajau is a surfer's paradise, with consistent waves and a variety of breaks to challenge all levels. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, Siajau has a wave for you. But Siargao is more than just surfing. You can explore hidden lagoons, swim in enchanting caves, and island hop to your heart's content. So grab your board, slap on some sunscreen, and get ready to experience the magic of Siargao. It's a place where you can truly disconnect from the world and reconnect with nature. Let's start with the crown jewel of Siargao's surf scene, Cloud9. Watching experienced surfers carve it up is a spectacle in itself. But Siargao is not just about the waves. Explore hidden gems like the enchanting Magpupunko rock pools. For adventure, head to Tiangban Cave Pool. No trip is complete without immersing in the local culture. Indulge in Filipino cuisine and connect with friendly locals. Now for something slightly different. We're diving into a place that feels like it's frozen in time, vegan. This city is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and for good reason. It's like stepping back into the Spanish colonial era. Vegan is famous for its incredibly well-preserved Spanish colonial architecture. Imagine cobblestone streets, horse-drawn carriages called calesas, and buildings that look like they haven't aged a day in centuries. Trust me, you'll want to have your camera ready at all times here. Every corner you turn is like a scene straight out of a history book. But Vegan isn't just about looks. It's also a vibrant city with a rich culture and delicious food scene. Let's relax as we explore everything Vegan has to offer. All right, let's talk about what you absolutely can't miss in Vegan. First up, Calle Crisologo. This street is the heart of Vegan's historic district and walking down it feels like traveling back in time. Be sure to check out the shops selling local crafts and souvenirs and definitely try the street food. Another must visit is the Bante Bell Tower. This iconic landmark offers stunning views of the city and the surrounding countryside. For a unique experience, Visit the Pagburnayan, a traditional pottery workshop where you can try your hand at making your own clay pot. And don't forget to indulge in vegan's culinary scene. Be sure to try the longanisa, a savory sausage, and the empanada, a crispy pastry filled with meat and vegetables. Vegan is a feast for the senses. Davao. This city on the southern island of Mindanao is a hidden gem in the Philippines. It's known for its stunning natural beauty, vibrant culture, and of course, the king of fruits, durian. Now, I know durian can be a bit polarizing with its, shall we say, unique aroma. But trust me, if you can get past the smell, the taste is like nothing you've ever experienced. But Davao is so much more than just durian. It's a melting pot of cultures, with influences from indigenous tribes, Spanish colonialism, and modern Filipino life. This blend is reflected in everything from the food to the festivals, making Davao a truly fascinating place to explore. So let's look into what makes this city so special. 
One of the best things about Davao is the sheer diversity of experiences it offers. For adventure seekers, there's Mount Apo, the highest peak in the Philippines. The trek to the summit is challenging but rewarding, offering breathtaking views. If you're looking for something a little more laid back, head to the Philippine Eagle Center, where you can see these majestic birds up close and learn about conservation efforts. Back in the city, immerse yourself in the vibrant culture at the Davao City Hall and Rizal Park. And for a taste of local life, be sure to visit the Banquerohan Public Market, a bustling hub of vendors selling everything from fresh produce to handicrafts. Davao is a city that truly has something for everyone. From its natural wonders to its cultural treasures, Davao is sure to leave a lasting impression. Get ready to be blown away, both literally and figuratively, because today we're heading to Batanes, the northernmost province of the Philippines. This archipelago is known for its dramatic landscapes, strong winds, and a unique culture shaped by its isolation. Imagine rolling hills that seem to meet the sky, rugged cliffs pounded by crashing waves, and traditional stone houses built to withstand the fiercest typhoons. That's Batanes in a nutshell. This is a place where life moves at a different pace, where ancient traditions are still very much alive, and where the connection to nature is undeniable. Whether you're an adventure enthusiast, a history buff, or simply seeking a break from the ordinary, Batanes will captivate your soul. Let's discover why. Now, Batanes is beautiful year-round, but the best time to visit is during the dry season, from March to June. The weather is generally sunny and dry, perfect for exploring the island's many outdoor attractions. Just be prepared for strong winds, especially if you're visiting during the Amihan season from November to February. But trust me, the windswept beauty of Batanes is part of its charm. While you're there, make sure to visit Sabtang Island, known for its traditional stone houses and white sand beaches. Hike up Mount Carmel for panoramic views of the islands and explore the historical ruins of the old Spanish churches. And don't forget to try the local cuisine. Batanes is known for its fresh seafood, root crops, and dishes like vunes, a hearty soup made with gabi leaves and pork. Batanes is a journey you won't soon forget. Thanks for sharing this experience of discovering the Philippines. Let me tell you, this country just keeps blowing me away. Today, we're heading to the Banawi Rice Terraces, often called the eighth wonder of the world. These terraces are over 2,000 years old, carved by the Ifugao people. It's like stepping back in time, thousands of terraces, covering over 1,000 square kilometers. I can't wait to share this experience with you guys. It's going to be epic. The hike up to the viewpoint was definitely worth it. The view from up here is absolutely breathtaking. You can see the rice terraces stretching out for miles. We met the local Ifugao people, who were so welcoming and friendly. I even got to try my hand at planting rice. The Ifugao people live in harmony with nature. It's inspiring to see. The Banawe rice terraces are a must-see for any traveler coming to the Philippines. We're in Manila, the bustling capital of the Philippines. This city is a fascinating mix of old and new with Spanish colonial architecture, modern skyscrapers, and a vibrant street life that will keep you on your toes. We're starting our Manila adventure in Intramuros, the oldest district in the city. It's like stepping back in time with cobblestone streets, horse-drawn carriages, and centuries-old churches and forts. It's amazing to think about all the history that's happened here. We'll be checking out Fort Santiago, San Agustin Church, and soaking up the historical vibes. Then it's off to explore the modern side of Manila. We'll be hitting up some rooftop bars for epic city views, trying out the street food scene, and maybe even doing some karaoke. Because hey, it's the Philippines. Manila is a city that never sleeps. And I can't wait to show you all the hidden gems I've found here. Manila is an impressive city. Exploring Intramuros felt like a trip back in time. You could feel the weight of history now we're experiencing modern Manila and the energy is contagious. The street food here is out of this world. Manila blends its rich history with modern aspirations. It's the perfect way to wrap up our Philippines adventure. And that's a wrap on our Philippine adventure. From the stunning beaches of Palawan to the historical streets of Vigan and the vibrant energy of Manila, this country has stolen my heart. The Philippines is a place of incredible natural beauty, rich culture, and some of the friendliest people you'll ever meet. I hope you enjoyed exploring the Philippines with me. If you did, 
Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to Sightseer Stories for more travel adventures, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the action. Until next time, keep exploring. See you in the next video.